there everyone, uh, this is Draven Taylor and we're going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial here. I'm going to be having uh, a series of tutorials of doing really, really simple things that uh, even veterans of World of Warships don't know. Uh, not, you know, some of them don't know, let me rephrase that. And it's just to get the information out there to help out people. So this one in particular we're going to be focusing on um, a little trick that I learned from somebody early on. And that's actually, if you go right over here to campaigns. Now, everyone has a hard time with at least a couple of the campaigns. And because of this trick, if you notice, like the Battle of the North Cape, New Year Raid, Signs of Victory, Honorable Service, and the Yamamoto uh, campaigns, I've already gotten them all done. Now, normally, with Battle of the North Cape, when they would issue out a new batch of the missions, I can knock them out in one day. Now, some of them I could just knock out because they were right up my area of expertise, and it worked out perfectly. Others, however, had missions that I had a really hard time with. So, what I would do, and I will show you, we'll go here. Let's say that you're working on Mission 5. Now, if you notice, I have both of these done. Task 2, Task 3. I'm going to get rid of this one right here. Now, if I wanted to... I'm working for stars, hypothetically. And let's say it's one star, one star, one, two star, two star, and then three stars. Um, if you want to be able to knock out these really quickly, if you're able to get 75,000 experience after modifiers, you got a bunch of signal flags, camos, you got other perks, premium time to be able to knock this out quickly, if you've already wiped it out, if you notice, mine says it's done, it says it's issued. If you click on it again, which it's not going to let me because I've already gotten uh, all the stars, you can click on it again, you can repeat the mission, you will not get the reward, but you will get the stars. So you can actually quickly knock out the stars and get to the final task and go to the next mission in a lot less time. You do not have to do them all. So using that as a standpoint like I said one one two two well that's how I got six stars I did this one twice and I did this one twice and I got my six stars and I went to the final task so that's all you gotta do you click on it you accept it and you're not going for the you're not going for the reward reward per se you're going for these bad boys up here the stars so if you take that approach and unfortunately, I was going to do this when I still had tasks to do, but I've gotten them all done. Um, you can pretty much wipe out all these really quickly. Because if you look at this, like here, I did all three of them. I didn't need, I didn't need to repeat any. This one right here, I only did one of them, and I did this one. It gave me two stars. I did it twice, and I'm still working on these two. So that's, that's kind of the trick of the trade where you can get through the campaigns. It's not going to knock out every single one of the tasks, but it's going to knock out the ones that you're good with to get through to get the final rewards. And usually the final rewards, I'll jump back into this just to be on the safe side. Let's use honorable service. Go to task five, because this is a good example. Would you rather be getting... AA uh, Guns Mod 3 and be sitting here grinding these out forever or would you rather be jumping to the final task and getting your Shinonomi? It's it's pretty much that that's that's the mindset to do with this and then what I do personally, these two you're not going to be able to do it. There's only two days left. But like Science of Victory. I go back and I keep on knocking out the ones I have a hard time with and now I'm not trying to do it as a race against time. So now the only ones I have left are um one task here and two tasks there and I'm done with Science of Victory. And that's really, really the secret of this is just jump into the, the one you have if you have a hard time, like this one's aircraft carriers. If you don't play aircraft carriers, you're going to be sitting here ba banging your head on the wall with these forever. So you focus on ones that you can do, knock them out, and then repeat the task. Repeat the task and then repeat the task. Just keep on doing the ones that you're good with and you'll keep on getting the stars for them. 
Once all the stars are full, the, the final task is unlocked, and then you, could, you have the luxury of knocking out the ones that you haven't finished after you've gotten everything done and you've gotten whatever the final reward is. So, um, I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope to catch you guys on the open seas. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like the information given to you. And if you actually like what I've tried to share with you, my goal is to try to help the people that are new with this, and hopefully it will pay off. Um, happy hunting, and have fun in World of Warships.